What's going on guys? I'm uh, working at the office today. Not the studio, but the office because the studio is not done because this is from the past. And I'm working from up here because I don't have a doorbell downstairs that I can work from. And I have a really special delivery coming today that I don't want to miss. I'm so excited about. It's something that I've never had in my life before, ever. Before we get into the video, I should let you know that today's video is sponsored by Storyblocks.com. For professionals or even personal use, Storyblocks is an awesome place to find the pieces you need to fill out your content. Not only is there nearly a million stock video clips, but also a massive library of sound effects, templates, images, and music. Best of all, there are really affordable plans that offer creators unlimited downloads. So if you're missing some epic B-roll for one of your videos, or you're looking for some music for the background, head over to storyblocks.com and give it a try. There's a link in the description of this video. Oh man, so good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news is my printer arrived. The bad news is it's freaking massive. I got a discount on a printer here that was, I don't know why I got a discount on it, probably because it's so heavy. But the plan was to bring it down into the studio, not in the studio, but in the other room, and uh, use that as my printing room. But it took three of us just to get it through the window into here. <laughs> so I have no idea how I'm gonna get it downstairs. I'm gonna have to find some friends to help. <laughs> Problem is I don't have any friends. So I obviously left this mess behind uh, yesterday. I think it's gonna take four people to get into the basement. And even then, it's such a tight fit, I'm not, sh I honestly don't know. For now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the stand and the rollers and things like that down in the basement. And then hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have a working printer. It might not be today, but by the end of the video, hopefully we'll have a working printer. It's a couple days later, but I'm super excited because we got the printer downstairs and I didn't film it because it was such hard work and it would have been impossible to film. But it took five of us to get it down. And honestly, I'm having back spasms today because of it, <laughs> which isn't fun, but I'm excited to print. So this is the printer's permanent home-ish. It's on like this wheeled stand. So if I decide I need to move it in this room, I can. But I do want to get the, the, the part that catches the prints set up this morning i want to get it calibrated and i want to start printing because i have some prints that are actually due to clients already and i want to make some prints available to you guys if you guys want to buy some prints as well so let's get this thing running that was painless after building Ikea furniture for weeks at the, at the new apartment, or months even, that was really, really painless. I need to find a way to power right now because as I mentioned in the other video, there's not a lot of power here, uh, especially with the studio sucking up so much. There's an outlet right there, but it's being used for something else and I'm wondering if I double up on the power, if it's gonna blow a fuse or something like that. But I think for now it'll be fine. So. We'll use this, but eventually I need some sort of other power solution in here. This printer kind of terrifies me, so I'm literally going um, by every step. And the next step is push the power button. Whoa! Okay, the next step is to install the ink tanks, which are under here, I guess. <laughs> Everything about this machine is super intimidating, so I'm just kind of following the orders. It says, pull the ink tank lock lever towards you, like this, and then up. Oh, that's actually kind of easy. Okay. Everything about this machine is super intimidating, but I think it's actually quite simple. It, it works, which is, it's great engineering. 
So let's close this. I'm assuming we're pushing this. And then let's install the ink tanks like we're supposed to. It says shake each one seven to eight times before opening. Yeah, and then I guess you just correspond these. Blue, I don't know what CO is, gray, yellow, magenta. Okay, let's just do it. Bye. Okay, and then the light is red. Is that a bad thing? It's supposed to be red. It worked. Let's do the rest of them. That seemed to work. It said a bunch of genuine Canon ink has been installed. And now it says preparing the ink system. Next on the checklist is installing the printer head. Yikes. This stuff's so intimidating, but so far, like I said, it's been super chill. So hopefully this goes well. Once again, crazy intimidating, but actually really, really simple. It says it's processing. I guess the next thing probably is color calibration, but I gotta start reading the instructions again. Printer head adjustment, okay. Let's figure this out. Okay, it sounds like it's working. It says, please select the paper from the list. Feeding paper. I think it's printing. Hey, the printer's buzzing. It's been doing this for a solid 10 minutes now, uh, which is concerning me, but then I went online and some people have said it takes up to an hour to do this initial whatever it's doing. So I'm actually gonna head into my office, which I got a little bit more foam up. I actually have got some ordered, so soon more foam will go up and soon we'll have prints for in here, which is super exciting. But I'm just gonna go on, I'm just going on the Canon website now to, uh, to download the software for the printer, and then hopefully I'm gonna install a roller, a roll of photo paper, which I bought, which is my favorite kind of photo paper, and we'll start punching out some prints, I think. Uh, the calibration or whatever it was doing is done. It printed off this color matrix thing. Looks good. Uh, I'm going to load photo paper I bought, I bought a roll of, this is, I never know how to pronounce this brand, but it's Hanul, Hanul photo paper. This is what I've used for my photo paper forever. This is, uh, I believe, 310 GSM, 100% cotton, satin finish, photo rag, satin. Um, yeah, fine art paper. I've used this exact type of paper every time I've printed and sold images, ever. But now that I have a printer, I'm excited that I'm gonna be able to start testing on new things. So uh, yeah, I will be using this at least for the first batch. And then I'm gonna start trying other prints as well. So I'm excited about it. Let's load up uh, a roll on this and start printing some stuff off for some clients. Okay, we're all set up. It looks like everything's going well. I downloaded a uh, ICC profile for the type of paper I use, so I'm gonna use that. And for a test image, I'm going to print this image of monkey that I, I photographed the other day. So I guess I honestly don't really know what I do. This was a TIFF file. Paper size A1, this is gonna be massive. Like this is gonna just be a huge print, which is fine. Uh, it's kind of funny. And then alignment, looks like everything's set up quite nice. And I guess one copy, hit print, start printing. Okay, yee, here goes nothing. Ah, it's printing, it's working. It's 
coming out and it looks phenomenal. It looks so good. I am so happy with this. Um, I, I'm gonna do some inspecting with a magnifying glass. I have a cutting table that I've set up for a little bit here. So I'm gonna get to work now. Let's start printing off these client images because this is absolutely perfect. Hey Jody, I have a present for you. No, it's not a puppy. Oh. Oh, it's my baby. She's larger than life. You can see our house in her eye. Oh, Okay, it's obviously a couple days later because the studio is an absolute disaster and I'll kind of explain why at the end of this video. But you can also see that the prints are in frames and they look so good. I'm so excited about how they came out, not only from a printing standpoint, but the way they came out in this acoustic foam, it looks so, so good. I'm really happy with that. I want to talk kind of quick about selling prints because literally like two weeks ago, I did a video called Stop Selling Prints. And then now I'm gonna try to tell you that I'm selling prints. And I don't want you guys to be confused. The title of that video wasn't to tell you to stop selling prints. It was to try to think of more efficient ways to sell prints, or maybe ask yourself if you're ready, if your business is ready for you to start selling prints. I, as a photographer, have been selling prints for the past couple of years. But because of the nature of my life being a travel photographer and being nomadic, I only sold prints in a way that most fine art photographers sell prints, which is of the limited variety. They take an image, one of their favorites, and they sell a limited amount of those images as fine art photography. For example, this Mongolia image that's on the wall, there's only five of this ever printed and sold. So when somebody buys this image, it comes at a bit of a premium. It gets autographed, it gets a, a, a paper of certification, it gets numbered one out of five, and it has a much higher value as a result. And I never sold anything except for that because just, yeah, the nature of my lifestyle just made it really inefficient. But now being able to print myself, I'm now going to start offering prints to basically anybody who wants one. I'm gonna offer prints that are eight by 10, or kind of equivalent, depending on the dimensions of the image, of whatever photo of mine you guys want. For 35 euros, you can have any photo at all that I've ever taken, 35 euros plus shipping. Now that I have my own printer, it is an efficient business, I think, to do this. So yeah, that's what's going down. You can uh, click the link on the in the description of this video to my little shop that I've made that shows the images you guys might wanna buy. But you can also just head to my Instagram, find an image you love, and then send me an email and say, Brendan, I want this photo. Can you send me an invoice for it? And I'll send you an invoice for it. And then I'll also send you the photo. So massive thank you in advance for supporting my little photography business, my printing business, which I never ever thought I would have. Um, on to the studio. The studio is an absolute mess because over the past three days where I haven't filmed, I've done a lot of work. I've installed some shelves in the back, I've installed LED lights on my desk and around the, the trims. I've uh, fixed my wiring issue and added these kind of, I guess they're Legrand uh, cable management things on the bottom. I've installed some plants. I've done a lot of work. And I didn't vlog it because I was kind of getting bored of myself. I was getting bored of these 10 minute videos, 12 minute videos of me building stuff and not knowing what I was doing. And I just realized it's time to end the daily, daily vlogs and get back to photography. So there still will be updates on the studio and what I'm doing. It just won't be full 12 minute videos of DIY photography stuff. It'll be more like one minute updating you what I'm doing that day or what I've done that day and then 11 minutes of photography. I want to get back to the photography and so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have new gear to test. I have 
some new products that I think you guys are gonna really love and I have a couple new locations that I wanna check out. So lots of photography coming up on the channel and I hope to see you guys on the next episode when we go out and take some pictures, hopefully worthy of hanging on the wall. I'll see you guys there. Peace.